Howdy again, everybody. This is Doc from Thorofan coming to you, and I'm actually joined today by my trusty sidekick, Artemis, uh, or Artie for short. He happens to be a thoroughly passionate racing fan himself. And, uh, you know, we're coming up on just about three weeks to the Kentucky Derby. Uh, obviously, last week didn't clarify the picture too much, uh, but we've only got one major prep race this week, obviously, the Arkansas Derby, and, well, everybody can kind of figure out what that race is named for, considering it's happening in Arkansas. Uh, so we might look it around a little bit to the steak schedule and uh, looked at uh, Keeneland's spring meat, um, obviously that steaks packed meat that everybody loves this time of year, and came across uh, an interesting uh, race called the Ben Ally. Uh, who's Ben? And why does he have a race named after him? Well, you may not know yet, but you're going to know in a little bit as we look at the name behind the race. We need to travel back in time once again to understand the name behind this race. And there's many out there that may think the race is actually pronounced the Ben Ali. No, not that Ali, although uh, both our person and uh, the greatest ever were born in Kentucky. It's actually pronounced Ben Ali and is named after James Ben Ali Hagen. Born in 1822 in Kentucky, he uh, did okay, made a pretty good life for himself. He was an attorney, a rancher, and a very uh, successful investor. Uh, he's so famous, in fact, that he actually has a mountain named after him in Montana. It was after he made his fortunes, though, following the California Gold Rush, that uh, he turned his attention to the racing and breeding of thoroughbreds. He owned and operated the Rancho del Paso Breeding Farm in California. You can actually see some of the horses uh, who were part of that breeding operation here in this wonderful old-timey photograph. He did that until 1905, when he decided to finally come home and focus attention on uh, purchasing and taking over the Elmendorf Farm in Lexington, Kentucky. He uh, worked to actually turn that farm into the biggest horse breeding operation of the time in the United States, standing such great horses as Salvatore, who was considered one of probably the best racing horses of the latter half of the 19th century, and Miss Woodford, the first horse actually to ever eclipse the $100,000 mark in earnings. He operated the farm until the time of his death in 1914. The first running of the Ben Ally took place in 1917 and was run every year until 1922 at the Kentucky Association track in Lexington. Went on a little hiatus there, and uh, it wasn't run again until 1937 at Keeneland, but it has actually become a fixture race for older horses at the spring meet that we look forward to every year. Perhaps the most famous the recent winner of the Ben Ally was none other than the, the most interesting horse in the world, advantage. Wise Dan, in, in 2012. I have the leopard third, ceases fourth, and guys reward fifth between horses. It is Wise Dan rolling by the eighth pole. Wise Dan, eight length advantage, back to Big Blue Kitten. He is back and he is back in style wise dan and john velasquez to crush the field in the ben ally big blue kitten was home second and then it was well there you have it the glorious history of mr ally and how he actually really was a very intricate part of the racing uh, world and especially the thoroughbred breeding world uh back when he was around so uh that's going to do it for this segment of the name behind the race if you have a race that you are kind of curious about the origins of feel free to drop us a line here at Therofan, and I'll see if I can research it for you. You never know, you may find it showing up on a future segment. I'm Doc for Therofan, and we'll see you next time on The Name Behind the Race. To learn more about everything Thoroughbred fan-based and become a huge part of the fandom that is Therofan, be sure to check us out on our website, therofan.com, and sign up for our weekly newsletter. You'll be surprised what you find out about this great sport.